All right, we want to do an example of multiplication of a component form vector by a scalar. So here's an example. So let's say vector v is the component 2 and 3. And recall a vector has length. So if I wanted to calculate the length, I won't do it in this example, but I'll just refresh your memory. If I wanted to calculate the length, that's the magnitude. Um, and we did that in the previous example. And it also has direction. So we could calculate that. We did that in a previous example. But graphically, it looks like this. One, two, one, two, three. So here's the vector. And then, of course, the length of it is right here. And the direction is always measured counterclockwise from x. And that's the direction right there. So anyway, we want to multiply by a scalar. So a scalar is not a vector. A scalar is just a number, like 2, or 4, or 5, or anything like that. It, um, it doesn't have, we don't think of it as having a, um, uh, a length, it's just a number, and of course it doesn't have bearing. So let's uh, do an example, and let's multiply this vector by 2. So 2 times that vector. So I am going to multiply the x components by 2, and I'm going to multiply the y components by 2. So it's going to look like this, 2 times 2, and then 2 times 3. So 2v is going to be equal to 4, 6. So that's the new component form of the vector.